and that is 3 over 4 plus the square root of 6. You can't multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 6 because if you do, you're still going to be left with some crazy stuff because of this thing here. This is no longer just a radical term on the bottom. You have an expression. So to get rid of that expression that contains the radical term, you have to multiply by something called the conjugate, which kind of makes it like a difference of two squares, if you remember back to that. So instead of multiplying the top and the bottom by just the square root of 6, you're going to multiply by 4 minus the square root of 6. Whatever the operation is here, there we go, whatever that is, you have to multiply by the same expression except change the sign. And when you do that, it sets up kind of like a difference of two squares. So we'll go back through and multiply this out on the top first. 3 times 4 is 12, and then 3 times uh, minus square root of 6 is minus 3 square root of 6. And then on the bottom, you just do first outside, inside, last. This times this is 16, but you don't have to mess with anything else except this times this. Square root of 6 times square root of 6 is what? Square root of 36. Square root of 36, which is? 6. 6, yeah, that's all you need to do, and since it's plus minus, the sign is minus in the middle. There's no need to multiply the rest of it out, and I'll show you why just this first time. And this is the whole reason why we're doing this. If you had 4 plus the square root of 6, and then 4 minus the square root of 6, and multiplied it all the way out, you would get 16 minus 4 square root of 6 plus 4 square root of 6, and then at the back end, you would have minus 6. What happens to this and this? They cancel out, and that's exactly why we're multiplying by the conjugate, which is the same expression, except the sign is different. All right. So we don't have to do that? No, you would only have to do this times this, and then this times this. Every one of them. Every one of them. And remember, it's going to be minus, because you have alternating signs. So the top is 12 minus 3 square root of 6. And then on the bottom, it's 16 minus 6, which is 10. Always simplify when possible. If you can get a number out of this, this, and this, then do so. But we can't here. So this is the final answer. All right. Any questions about that first one? Now you have to answer questions for me about the same thing that we just did. Different problem. And this one is 5 over 1 plus the square root of 2. The first thing we have to do is multiply the top and the bottom by what? What, is, what are we going to multiply by? Top and the bottom time is multiplied by 1 minus square root of 2. That is the conjugate. On the top side, we have 5 times 1 minus the square root of 2. First thing is 5 times 1. That's going to give me a 5. All right, so 5 times minus square root of 2 is minus 5 square root of 2. On the bottom, 1 times 1 is 1. Multiply the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 to come up with 2. In the middle, you're going to have a minus sign. On the top, 5 minus 5. 5 minus 5 square root of 2 over a negative 1 and then change the sign of everything to get negative 5 plus 5 square root of 2. And over 1 does not need to be written. We have to set up the conjugate on this and that's going to be multiplying the top and the bottom by the same expression down here except you flip the sign. So it's 2 minus the square root of 3, top and bottom. When I multiply across the top up here, I'll come up with we will come up with 8 minus 4 square root of 3. On the bottom, you have to multiply this times this, and then this times this. 2 times 2 is 4, 
and then square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3, and there is a minus sign in there. To go back and simplify this, on the top you'll have 8 minus 4 square root of 3, and on the bottom you'll have a 1. No need for the 1. There's your answer. On this problem, the difference is that we have this extra number in there, but you still do it the same way. I would have to multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate. That will be 3 plus 2 square root of 2. When I multiply here, I'm going to come up with 18 plus 12 square root of 2. On the bottom, I only have to multiply this and this to get a 9, but when I multiply this and this, which of course I've left out the 2 there by mistake or else it didn't show up, but when you multiply these two together, you're going to have to do this. 2 times 2 is 4, and then square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. So keep that top the same, and then on the bottom you have 9 minus what is essentially 8. 9 minus 8 is 1. So it just cancels out. It's a strange looking 2, but that's the answer. 18 plus 12 square root of 2. We have to multiply the top and the bottom by 2 plus 3 square root of 6. Now we go here and then there. We will come up with 18 plus 27 square root of 6. On the bottom we'll come up with 4 and then minus 3 times 3 is 9, and then square root of 6 times itself is 6. On the top, 18 plus 27 square root of 6 stays the same, and on the bottom I come up with, we come up with negative 50. We have to change the sign of everything to come up with negative 18 minus 27 square root of 6 over 50. That is your final answer. Multiply the top and the bottom by 6 plus 3 square root of 5. On the top, when I multiply here and here, I get 30, or not 36, but I get 72 plus 36 square root of 5. On the bottom, you'll have 6 times 6, which is 36, and then minus 3 times 3 is 9, and then square root of 5 times square root of 5 is 5. So the top part is going to stay 72 plus 36 square root of 5, and on the bottom, 36 minus 45 is going to be a negative 9. We can divide everything by a negative 9 to come up with a negative 8 minus 4 square root of 5, and on the bottom it would just cancel out. We have to multiply the top and the bottom by 6 minus 3 square root of 8. <coughs> we will multiply the tops together, and these will not cancel out most of the time. You have to actually multiply through with the first outside, inside, last formula. So 4 times 6 is 24. And then 4 times a minus 3 square root of 8 is minus 12 square root of 8. Then you have to shift to this term and use the sign in front of it. Negative 5 square root of 2 times 6 is going to be minus 30 square root of 2. And then negative 5 square root of 2 times a negative 3 square root of 8 is going to be a plus 15 square root of 16. Now on the bottom, these will have middle terms that cancel out. What will I have on the bottom? On the bottom, we will have 6 times 6, which is 36, then the minus sign. 3 times 3 is 9. This times this is 8. 9 times 8 is 72. All right, on the top, you have to simplify where possible. So this goes back to the beginning of the radical objective. Here we have to simplify that, the square root of 8. Once you've done this enough times, you don't have to show the work for it. 
So the 24 stays and we have the minus, but the square root of 8 breaks up as 2 square root of 2. That's the simplified version. So we'll do that over here on the right side. You have a 12 square root of 8. The square root of 8 breaks up as 4 and 2. The square root of 4 is 2. So 12 times 2 is 24. 24 square root of 2. So we have to sub that in here. What we just found here was 24 square root of 2, and it goes in here. We did that because this is not simplified. Simplify it and combine it with this to get this. This is okay. So we have minus 30 square root of 2. And then on the back side here, what is 16? Yeah, the square root of 16 is 4. What's 4 times 15? 60. 60, yeah, so we can have a plus 60 there. And then on the bottom, we have 36 minus 72, which is a negative 36. You have two items on top that can be simplified. On the top, we can have 24 plus 60, which is 84, and then minus 24 square root of 2, minus 30 square root of 2 is minus 54 square root of 2. And then all of this over a negative 36. I can change the sign of everything now and make it a negative 84 plus 54 square root of 2 over 36. We'll divide all of this here by 6 to come up with negative 14 plus 9 square root of 2 and on the bottom you'll get a 6. This is your final answer.